Hey guys. <laughs> like and subscribe. Welcome back. Yeah. yeah. Episode two, Barbershop Chronicles. No Valentine's Day specials, as you can see the background. Couple love hearts and that. Because obviously, Val- romance and that. Valentine's Day is a, a it's a, it's, a, it's a romantic time for some people. Not really though, man. It's just I think it's a bit overhyped. If I'm honest, but we'll get to that. We'll mm. get to that. <laughs> Things. What's going on? I've had a tough week this week. <laughs> I've had a very tough week. So from, from, from when we filmed the last podcast, you yeah. know how I felt after the last podcast. Yeah, I know, I know, um, I know. How was you feeling though? Bruv, I went out. I was moving <laughs> weird. I was moving. Listen, look, I, after I left, I've honestly, if you've if I've messaged you this week about the podcast and you've just dealt with everything I've got to say, I just want to say a massive thank you because I've been annoying these last few weeks. Not only that, but I've been rattled just because, listen, look, guys, I said I'm not going to talk about football in this podcast and I'm not talking about football, but I'm not doing football banter anymore. If I've bantered you in the past, I apologise. I can't do football banter no more. Is that what you're saying? Are you throwing in the towel and on the pod? What with banner? Yeah, is that what you're saying? Yeah. You are finished. I'm done. All right, lads, remember the day. Yeah? <laughs> remember, I'm any I'm hundred, I'll kick him out any group chat you're in. Get rid of it. I'm it's done. done. I'm finished. done. Thank you for everyone that locked into the first episode. Mm. We've done massive. Like it's, it's better than what we expected. I tell you what. The next time, the next video we put out, if we get to a thousand likes, what can I promise them? What can we promise them? What do you want to do? What, a forfeit? What are you going to do, bro? A chili challenge. <laughs> 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 a chili challenge. No, I'll do the cinnamon challenge. What? what? No, all right, cool. Say no more. If we get to a thousand likes in yeah, like, four like, do that. I'll Did you hear do, that? I'll do I want to see that. Live on TV. Listen, live on cinnamon challenge. Actually, no, let's change it from cinnamon. Let me do like the wheat a bit challenge or something. That's a bit more lighter. How's your wheat been, anyway? It's been a bit mad. Same shit, different day, but it's boring, fam. Working from home, you know the vibe. Listen, and also, I know I was drunk last week. People stopped telling me I know I was drunk. I get it. Like, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for smoking about 27 minutes on camera. I was billing it after billing it. Everyone's telling me I'm a chimney. And there's going to be less of that today. Yeah. There'll be less drink. Look, look. I'm well prepared today. I'm not even trying to get like how I was asleep on the last one. Yeah, last time was a bit messy. Still, last time was messy. This time's a bit more prepared. Where, where what's going on and as it's Valentine's of course we're going to give you something special oh, yeah. like, it's going to get deep it's going to get heavy yeah Adam, this is for you today as I said I'm going to turn on the romantic voice and start talking all sweet <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> that is, it's going to get like that it's going to get like that that one yeah lock in innit thank you for like, everyone it's really been... last bit as well I just want to shout out the team that have made it possible for us to put our a vision into what we're doing now. Shout out Jay Goods. Big Shout out Five AM Media. Five AM Creatives. Yeah, creative. Shout out um, Courtney, Real Life Productions, or yeah, producer. Real Life Wave. Um, and also shout out S. He doesn't want to be named Incognito. 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 Richie the Barber. <laughs> Richie the Barber. And also shout out the people that are in the audience with us. Yeah. Without oh, you, lot would be no good. We're going to go to a quick break, but before we go on a break, I just want a bigger, ma- uh, massive shout out to Lucarelli, Bad t-shirts, boy. jumpers and sunglasses. Literally. If you want to look for them on Instagram, it's L-U-C-A-L-L-I. Lucarelli. Lucarelli. Find them on Instagram. They do the best t-shirts, best jumpers and best sunglasses as well. So you're all prepared for the summer. Guys, search for them. I'll put them on Instagram. I'll put them on again after this podcast. But guys, look for them. Bam. Back into the episode. Valentine's is coming. Where's your boyfriend? You are home. Let's get romantic. So as it's Valentine's Day, um, we thought there's no. I said this last time with the coronavirus, but there's no better place to not start than relationships. It's not even a. It's, it's a touchy sh- subject, but it's not a touchy sh- subject. What it is is like the new generation of relationship. Like things are different than how it used to be. Like things are definitely different to how it used to be. Like love was love, and things were a bit more easy, a bit more natural. Like if you see old school love, like it's different from new school love, bro. Because things are based on different things. That like, you can be with a girl based off what she looks like, and that's really materialistic. But that's what it is nowadays. Is it? It's mad for relationships are loose for people let let Instagram or social media dictate their relationships, but 
we just have to move with the times. Like not, and also, not every relationship's like that. There's some very strong relationships that, that we both know. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, we know true. people that have been in relationships for very long times. But do you think that's because they, they veer away from like, that social media, right? If they were both involved in it, do you think it's a mutual decision? Not one person can be off no, and one because, person can be on. No, because obviously there's always someone in the relationship with some kind of insecurity. So, But we don't know what goes on behind closed doors. But obviously that's where you work your way through the tough times in a relationship and you kind of just get on with it. That's why we don't see how relationships are behind closed doors because they're just getting on with it. But like, when you think about Valentine's Day, for example, it's very much gyal related. Yeah. Like, I'm not being... I feel like I'm not no. against all that feminist business and all power to women and that, but it's very much girl related. Like everything's about what your boyfriend's gonna get you, or very much mm-hmm. like yeah, he has to spend a certain amount, or how it looks to the gram, because it's all like medialized. Like Valentine's Day, you could get a card. Like if you think about old school love, like they'll come home with flowers after work, and that's enough. Like mm-hmm. cook a nice dinner and boom, everyone's content. Now you gotta pull up the Louis Vuitton bags and make it look all good, and she's got petals. You know what I mean? Rose yeah. petals on the bed and. Like, it's all loose, and then if you don't do that, then you look like a shit boyfriend because everyone else is doing it on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, like, who's doing that? Like, who's doing that? Like, yeah, that's yeah, all yeah. unnecessary, but it looks good. Everyone, under pressure. Yeah, it does. Bro, of course, and being in a relationship, it does put you in constant pressure. Like, you are in the limelight because everyone else is around you. If you go on the explore page when, a, when an event like this, for example, Valentine's Day is coming up, if you type and go in the explore page on Valentine's Day, everything that you want for Valentine's Day is there. Valentine's Day special, roses, hearts, like, bro, you can go to Selfridges and buy 20 bags worth of fucking roses, bro. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, what are you, do? like, it's nuts. But because Fredo's doing it, or like, you know what I mean? Because the Gram's doing it, people sit back and think, oh. you know what I mean? Like, you very get, like, that is a very much influence in the world. And I think new relationships are not really based off old love, like, it's a new love. And you have to accept the new love that's moving with times. Like, you have to be willing to accept your partner's known a thousand people. You've got to be willing to accept that your, your partner might have slept with people that you know. Mm. You know what I mean? And it's, it's very broadcast because amongst a small circle and social media and the way that the world's going has very much led it down that direction of mm. everyone knows everyone, bro. Mm. Even if you don't know them, you know them. Mm. Like, you might have met them one time in a rave and everyone's spudding you and they might have quenched down your girl. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? They know your girlfriend's come face, bro. <laughs> And, and, and it's you that's that, what, does that does that rattle you? It does rattle me. And that's a big thing. That, to be fair, that's a big thing for me. It does rattle me. Like I could, I don't like that feeling of walking into a place, a dance. Like me, I like raving, so I like partying. I go out a lot. I'm in that. Not to say I'm 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 in that house crowd, but I was part of that era where it come up so people know me. I'm recognised. So if I walk into a place with a gal, if next man in a gal have quen. <laughs> Even Drake says it in that song. Not to, oh, I don't get it. Uh, 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 hey, listen, uh, listen, uh, listen. Uh, listen. Uh, no, you know, I like, can't. You know that I'm type not, of her. You know when he says it. He says it in the tune. Yeah, yes. Man, know that type of hug, bro. Man, know that type of hug, brother. I, I think that's that's the most disrespectful thing your girl can ever do to you. If your girl hugs someone that they've slept with before. That's probably the most disrespectful. Why do you think so? A hundred percent. Do you no, think I can go somewhere? No, you told me you slept with, and you go and hug him. That's true. You're dumping you straight away in the rave. <laughs> <laughs> in front of it, in front of my man. It's true. That's what it is, though, and that's what the world is great because amongst that, she might still not to say have feelings for him, but she might still have him on her, on her grab. You know what I mean? Like she and because but not to say, like, certain men are different. I'm not one of those men that go through phones. I don't look into. I'm not involved in that. The moment that you got to start going through phones is the moment that you got to leave a relationship, bro. Because you're gonna find something that you don't want to see, <coughs> and, it, and it's inevitable. Not to say that your girlfriend might entice it, but you might be surprised of what you see and be angry at her because of what you've seen. You know what I mean? And it's not her fault that people are approaching her in that way. Regardless, it's the disrespect that comes with it. And yeah, it does rattle me definitely. And knowing, and knowing that I can walk into a place and I. Couple man, a quint on your team. Like, so it, it's, a, it's a lot for me. Like, and I should, I should be more willing to accept it based on the fact of who I am. Like, if you know who I am, like being bait means that like you've got a few people on your gram and you're a bit popular and all these sort of things. Like, girls see it as you being bait in it, but I don't see it as that because I got a different perspective. Anyway, we'll get there. We'll, we'll, we're leveling, mm-hmm. but I should be willing to accept a girl that sh- just like me. But I don't think I can. Like it, it's weird, like it's such a it's such a weird thing. It's such a weird thing. Why what's I wrong with that society though? Like, yeah, and also you. what's I wrong with girls are viewed differently to like the boys out and knows everyone that a girl's kind of a bit attracted to that. Whereas the girls out and knows everyone, you might want to talk to her but you're never gonna wanna Be sit down one. with someone like that. What do you mean like why why like, is it different? 
No, but what? No, nah, she's saying it is different. Yeah, of course. But, it no, but I get that though. But I'm, what I'm thinking is, why does it make a difference if a girl's Latin? Shouldn't that be something that draws you together if you're both bait and both people know you? Like, because the way I see it, if it's I saw really, someone, no. saw someone that's like me, that's another thing we've got in common. Yeah, but at the same time, like for a girl, there's different reasons why people like us. You know what I mean? Like for a girl, it's more than likely for a sexual attraction or amongst like other things there's there's some other reason why there's a hidden agenda why a man wants to be your friend and if we move into that friend zone subject which i'm willing to delve in like i can get there because i think that niggas in the friend zone are just waiting to be no you know what i mean no but obviously no but there's circumstances to it no, I no obviously i do no listen Actually, no, no yeah i disagree no, wait, hold, on, hold on hold on let's, so there's some people that like so we, down, we, no, wait, we have to we have to differentiate differentiate yeah, you know, between wait, 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 niggas stop, trying wait, to be wait, wait, yeah, wait, wait, let me finish let me finish like there's about it's about 80 20 there's about 80 20 you know what i mean 80, mm-hmm. 20. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, 80, not even that percent i think it's 80 50. i honestly think it's 80 50. Honestly, it's 50-50. You say it's 50 Because not every single boy that's friends with a girl wants to be. Do you want to beat all your friends? No, of course not. Actually, no, no, no. Cut that bit out. Cut that bit out. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Let, me, let me start again. Let me start again. No, no, no. Let's, no, let's keep it rolling because, no, I hear what you're saying. It's hypothetical speaking, but no. Because, as I said, that's why it's 80-20. Because a lot of the time why you end up in the friend zone, friend zone is because, merely because of you, sh- you shoot your shot, it gets <laughs> and then and then you think actually, yeah, you're quite cool, actually. The, way you, the way you shot me that was quite cool so we're just gonna stay in contact you know what i mean so that's the way it goes or genuinely you're not attracted or you meet in genuine circumstances like for me as i said like the way i meet my met my virgins like the ones that are in the audience right now it was weird circumstances like, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, like, oh, like, I like, you, yeah for real, like no. outside, of, outside of our usual, like our usual spot. Mm-hmm. I was outside of my whip. These two birds jumped in my whip and said, "Jumped oh, in, jumped in the car, bro." I didn't even know them like that. Jumped Swear. in the car. Oh, drop me home, drop me home. I need to hear. Hold on, let me listen to this. They said, "Drop me home, drop me home." We got an after party. We got an after party. I said, "Ah, yeah, cool. Say no more." Yeah, <laughs> afters, yeah, cool. What was going through your head when they said, "Drop me to this after party"? No, no, no. You said, "Drop me home." Then come yeah. to the up. We're going to the afters. I'm gonna shout. You get. I'll take my number. Take my number. Gave me the number, I checked it, it was legit. I thought, yeah, but you know the ones there, you do the whole thing, mm. and then boom, I dropped them home. After that, I never spoke to them again. Like, I tried to get to them. Right? It was like 3 a.m. after rev, right? I couldn't get food to nobody. That was the end of the night. But after that, they sent me a text like LOL, and then from then it was just like a neutral bond. Like, it mm. weren't, there was no intention. It was never the intention. Like, I didn't move to them. I didn't, yeah, you know, yeah, you wanted to lift home. They but, scat me out of the home, and it was a finesse, and it was, it was you know, it was a finesse. Like, yeah, <laughs> they finessed me. Yeah, yeah, yeah they finessed me, brother. And it, and it was good fun, yeah. and I respect that. And, yeah. that's, and if you meet people along the way like that, then it's general, like, it's general, it's, a, it's made for friendship. It's nothing more than that, because you didn't try to move to them. You know what I mean? That's how you can be in the friend zone and not want to like. But the other men them are just in the DM, shoot the shot, and they can't get through, so they like, they're like calling, they just cool. pattern up, and they like a picture and say, "Oh, you look nice today, babe. Where did you get your outfit from?" <laughs> <laughs> You're a dickhead. Yeah, you, you can do that to my bird. You know, but like, I know the game. Yeah, you can't run game on the what, game. So do you not do that? What? No, I'm not. So you don't go and girls do that? No, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm real. If I if I'm going to go shoot my shot, I'm shooting it, and if it don't go through, then that's the end of that. But then you're just on the error before that. Yeah, I'm, you I'm, 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 you I'm, I'm, girls who think that you're trying it with them and really you're just being friendly. Yeah, of course. And that's, and that's a negative for me. That, that works against my favour. Say that again. Say that again. Like, like girls so think that I'm trying it with them just because I'm friendly. For the disclaimer, I've got two sisters. My two, I've got two older sisters, so I'm the youngest out of the two older sisters. So I've seen what man can do, and I've seen that different side. So I'm in touch with like how my sisters, mm. you know what I mean? I was raised with women, so I know the vibes in it. So I'm just a nice person. If I see you out in the grave in your purse, I'll give you a bottle of water, and you will remember me. And I'm, you know what I mean? And you know, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, <laughs> you're a dickhead. But you know what I mean? I'm just a genuinely a nice guy. I'll give them water, and like, you know what I mean? Like, it's nothing more than that. If you're burst, I'm, you know what I mean? I do them things, bro. So girls take that as... Oh, like, he's trying to move to me. He's trying to move to me. Like, slow, slow down. down. I've heard girls lying on my name and saying they've got the cocky. You didn't get no cocky. What are you talking about? Yeah, stop lying. Why are you lying on my name? Stop lying. Stop lying. Stop lying. Stop lying. <laughs> and like the video and subscribe. Yeah. Stop lying. Stop lying. You know what I mean? It's lying. not that deep. Listen, if you want to holler at the Barbershop Chronicles, holler at us. We can get you on the page, promo. 
Cheap fees, come holler at the boy, Rangy, Franco, you know the vibes, man. All right, listen, I won't even, I, we weren't even charging for this first one because we just want to expand no, no, our... Wait, 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 we'll talk about charging later. Don't worry about, don't worry about my man. We'll holler at me first, then we'll get through to my man. Yeah, just holler. Yeah. Shout me. Yeah. I'll do that. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. Back into the episode. For the people on the other side that are literally have no intention, just want to be friends. There are a lot of people like that as well. I, I, I find value the girls, yeah, girls friendship, friendship more than, than yeah, yeah, because yeah. I find them very trustworthy. Yeah, I find true. girls very, very trustworthy. Hundred percent, hundred percent. I agree with that. Hundred percent. Because they genuinely care. Because as I said, I, I, as I said, I, I am in friend zones, but it's not. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just natural because mm. I'm not. I'm not that guy that tries to beat everything. Like mm. I'm just not that guy. As much as people tend to think it, it's just not the case that. Like, I just can't be bothered. Like, do you think I've, got, I've been there, done that? I can't lie to you. I used to be a quenness, but now it's a quenness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, you can what? You know, one there, but it's different now. It's different, bro. It's different. Like, life's different. Isn't it? Life's different. You appreciate, you appreciate yeah. companionship, innit? Mm-hmm. Like, that's what it is. More than anything, is being able to speak to someone and having that someone there. Do you, like, do you think that's the most important rela- thing in a relationship, though? Communication. Yeah, it is, and I think sex is a big thing as well. Do you think that's more important than? Do you think sex is more important than communication, though? Say we got chess, but I'll keep Yeah! 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 Yeah, yeah I fucking do, bro! Yeah. You can communicate as much as what? what what's at me a thousand times, bro? If I come up with a beat, then. No, like, but you know, when I say communication, that? so if you're in a relationship with someone that you've been with for a long, long time, yeah. and the sex is mad meaty, yeah. Mad, mad me, but you communicate very, very well. You mm. get on very well. Would you dump the girl because the sex is dead? It maybe could get that way though, because I think that ends up being complacency. Because if you're willing to seek more, I think if you're willing to seek more out of that, then you might as well go and be with someone else. I'm a very firm believer of don't lead anyone on. Like if you're not feeling it or something is missing from what you want, what is the point of wasting the time? And maybe that's me because I'm getting old. Mm. Like, but what is the point? If something's yeah. missing from it, you could be talking as much as you want. Like, you could be amazing as a communicator, but if there's a missing a spark, like, if you're absolutely missing that spark, like, but you don't want to fuck them all the time, and you're, you're not, what's the point, bro? Is that just settling? Like, is that, is that what life is? Like, and people say, is that, I, I, and you know, people say, is that love? Like, and, no, but it's, it's a, so. that is love. Like, if you're saying, I think, I think it's, I think it's being with someone that you love, of course you love them, but it's, even going past that point of that initial phase of wanting to fuck each other all the time. Because yeah, no, once that's, that's honeymoon oh, period. Yeah, of the, course. The fucking every day is what lasts for six are, months. You are fucking. Well, if, if your name's me, if your name's Ben, it's every year, every day for a year, I need to. Fuck you, fuck you. Every day for a year. But listen, but do you know what I mean? That's the honeymoon period. You get through that, and then it's just real life reality. That, that's when you proper get to know the person. That's when the honeymoon period is when you literally. Yeah, I think going on holiday with person determines that. Yeah. I think it all yeah. staying up or I think like staying together. You know, like mm. it's all fun and games until you see how someone actually lives. Like you know what I mean? Mm. And no, literally, mm. that is. A, I think that's a big factor. Like morals and all them things. There, that's a big factor mm. in a relationship. Like man couldn't be with no baby wiper. You know, the one day if you got a youth that just wipe, if you got a girl that wipes down your youth with baby wipes continuously, she's not the one, bro. Like, cause I've seen that shit. again, sorry, say it again, say it again, say it again. No, but you know what I mean? As in like baby wipes. If you're a baby wiper, I don't agree with baby wipers. No, but I'm not saying that. What's, what's, a, baby, what's a baby wiper? Under, under attack. Huh? No, I'm talking, no, no, bro. Not Wait, what's a baby wiper? A baby wiper. <laughs> I'm, not, <laughs> I'm just trying to understand what a baby wiper. Oh, yeah. oh what? Oh, no. After. Yeah, no, but for example. Yeah, I'm putting my kid, I'm putting my kid to bed. They give them a wipe down with a baby wipe and send their kid to bed. Oh, baby, wipe, baby wipes are feasible for quick moments. Of course, I, everyone uses baby wipes. Like if you're wiping your kids down on the goal, but there's certain people that will wipe their kid down for, with a baby wipe and send their kid to bed. You know what I mean? Moral. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on, wait, wait. No, wait, no, wait, wait, no, wait, wait, do you know what we're recording? Wait, no, wait, 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 do you know where we're in? We're in the M. Yeah. Yeah. Remember where you come from, my brother. Wait, yeah. Some people do. Yeah, hundred percent. But I didn't understand the context in what he was saying. Yeah, I thought he was talking about yeah. something. Yeah, oh, that yeah, after yeah, they get beat yeah. out and he's wiping, ah. they're wiping. Yeah. That's what I was like. What? You don't like, need to get yeah, wiped. Yeah, you don't need to 
yeah, need yeah, to get our mind at the gutter. Yeah, literally, you don't need to. But as I said, yeah, morals anyway. Like, you see how someone lives. You see if they're done. You see, like, because for me, as I said, hygiene is a big thing. I've got OCD, so I get up, brush my teeth. Like, bruv, don't be talking to me if you ain't brush your teeth. I'm on all that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm on all that. How are you having a full blown conversation? <laughs> don't chat to me if you ain't brush your teeth, bro. This guy, yeah. proper high maintenance, by the way. Oh, yeah, so bro, oh, yeah. Dry, I, 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 but every, you can chat to me, kiss me, tongues, everything. What? No, what? With dragon breath? Is that what you're on? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm not on that. Oh. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> See, I, yeah, I'm not on that. I ain't high maintenance. Not to say I'm high maintenance, but no, it's not, I get what you mean. Just, just I, relax. I, 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 you know yeah. what? I just got. Like, I'm just a bit. I just said I'm weird, and I've got OCD. Fam. I'm just a bit weird. It's not even weird having OCD. I think it is. You like things extra, extra clean. Yeah, it's not even just about being clean. It's just about the way you do things. Yeah. If I eat food somewhere, the plate has to come out. Like mm. man can't be sitting down with food on the plate in the room and man's shitting and that. Mm. I can all smell beans on the plate and that. Like why man's been there for an hour? Absolutely not. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, more, I'm more the type to leave it until it gets clean. Yeah. Not by myself, but obviously someone will, like someone will come and pick it up and clean it. You wait, you wait for someone else to do it. You, you see back one of those lazy yeah, boys. I'm I'm probably not as OCD right. as you, but I'm not as like. If something no, you know what it is. I just, I just think, never that I just think, yeah. Based on my history, I've just been through a lot of scenarios where I thought that is dirty. Like, I've seen some dirty things in my in, in my history of acquaintance. I need a story. Like, yeah, bro, listen, I could, I could give you God, loads. Give me one. What doo doo panties? Like whatever. Huh? Like, what? I know. Hold on. Pause no. this whole thing right now. Oh, wait, I need to not, hear that. No, no, I don't want to get As you know, I don't want to hear the doo doo panties story. Bro, I've been through scenarios with girls that you know. Girls shouldn't have skid marks. Bro, they do though. You know what it is? You know what it is? I find it's the girls with the big batteries that more <laughs> about this, you know what it is? Because they've got a lot to do. Get the added set, get the wipes, get the address wipes, the flushables. Because you've got too much of a big back, you can't get to everything, bro. And the toilet tissue, by the time you draw it out, it's dry, so you're getting you know, <laughs> you know what it rolls up, bro, and I don't want to see that when I'm putting you in yeah, Oh yeah, it's bad still. Oh shit. Bro, I don't want to I'm trying to keep this PG because I got you know what I mean? But it's just real, man. Like I said, it's just real. I've just seen, I've just seen the worst of the worst, and I think to myself, like I can't, I can't allow myself to to think like that. Cause me, I feel hard, innit? Like I, I'm a lover. Like I like all that. Like I like come to bed. I like all that. I'll give you everything, innit? That's what I'm saying. Now, when I commit, I commit, and I do that hard. So to know that I'm doing it to the wrong girl would be the, the biggest nightmare. And so, I think, and I think that almost leads to the reason why everyone, you know, like when you get into a relationship, why don't you post me? Because I'm not making myself look like a dickhead. That is the biggest factor of it all. I am not making myself look like a prick. Put yeah, you all over social media yeah. as my girl and man are DMing you like, was that your man, yeah? <laughs> you know what I mean? Or they, you know what I mean? What? Yeah, but you're gonna get that though. You're, no, it's not that you're, you're no, gonna but get that, no. but, but the majority of girls, remember, we're, we're, we're at a big, big age. Yeah, yeah, so the majority of girls, that we're not gonna be with no young, young girls. Do you know what I mean? So the majority of girls that you're gonna get with, They've had sexual partners, so yeah, obviously cool. them sexual partners are gonna DM them after they put their man in. The way our things set up, mm. there's always niggas that wanna see me fall or niggas that wanna try to get one. Oh no, but that's a, that's a different conversation. Yeah, that's a we'll different that's a next, different that might, yeah. next episode we'll get there, but niggas wanna see you know that like, niggas wanna get one up on you, so they feel like because they know that they beat your thing. For our they, mature of you is niggas. Yeah, they feel like, uh, yeah. yeah. Because niggas guys are <laughs> <I'll> moved <laughs> to a girl that you're trying to move to, like they feel like They've got one up on you, like, yeah, oh, yeah, I've got Rangers thing, like, I've done it, like, I'm on that same I level. Even, bro, it gets like, think, that. no, but, but I think it's sneaky, it is very much, yeah. it is very much sneaky, but niggas are, like, guys are sneaky, innit? Deep down, guys are sneaky, but especially when it comes to girls, like, the extent that I've seen some guys, like, pillow talking, like, trying to defer, you know what I mean? They do the most, like, guys will do the most to get the crutches in it. Does it, does it, does it bother you, though, like, being with that girl when, when someone's doing that? Yeah, like, I, you know I, what I, I feel like you gotta see with stuff like that though. I feel like it, it just it's just a mature thing. Like why do I care? Problem. If the girl if the girls are here, why do I care? Like, I don't I've care. You've been chasing it. her. You've done stuff. What? You've no, moved, I have. You're still single and no, I've gone past it. I'll be at home watching I, porn. I, no, I have. I've gone past it. I've yeah. allowed myself to go past it. Because yeah, I'm not that childish. You have to. You have to set people up how they are. I've gone past of watching what they've done because if you do that with everyone that you've been with, then you never. But I just think it's the fixation with social media like people believe what mm. they see certain times you know what i mean like everything is what they see there first is bible yeah but then can you say you've never looked at someone on social media and thought like oh like, i like her do you know what i mean like i like a bit of her no but you do that with everyone well, like, even like, do that with celebrities you look, yeah you don't need, but why do you go for girls that are, have that social media appearance that like, you don't have to have a girlfriend that does all that no of course 
No, of course. Yeah, and that's, that's and, and, and in the situation that I'm in now, like she's not in the social media appearance. But then I still have the doubts because of what You've been through. Yeah, and, and the thing is of what I have, like the yeah, club. I think that's an age thing. I think as you get older, like social media has less effect and less impact. No, on no, but life. I don't even like, think that because I think social media has a lot you see the thing with social media. That's why I, I take a break every couple, uh, every now and again because I've got, I've got it, 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 it gets into my mind. Yeah, see, well, sometimes when you watch social media and you see like sometimes you'll see someone not liking a picture and you think, oh, but you notice all these things. People can sit here and say they don't, but you do. Yeah, but do you know what I mean? That's why it is no, but it's not because I know people older than me that still feel like that, so they've had to deactivate that. Yeah, but that's media. but it's social media. It's, it's just the. Three years ago, you come off social media. Like you'd be on it all the time. I was the same, like, I would never ever come off social media, whereas now every few months I come off it for a few weeks and I think it's like... But I think that's I the think, I think, you know what it is, I think sometimes the older you are, and if you ain't in a relationship, then I think you go to social media, you know? Like I've seen a lot of people older than me, I think I've seen a lot of people, a lot of people older than me get to like say, like the late thirties, mid forties, if they're not in like serious relationships, I think they do more on social media for some reason. Like, no, you know, you know, no, I've just seen, I, I, no, I have, I, I've seen it personally, like, you know, not like, not so much men, but baby mums. Sorry to put them in a the category, but like if they're not in a serious relationship, like the, the women that are in the late thirties to the forties, they're the ones, they're the cougars that are out to scoop up all the young boys who catch them like, all the dancers yeah, that that's are the playground, isn't it? it is they're it? They're not even out. You yeah. can't get out. Yeah. 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 That's the thing. And, 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 and even the even now, media. and I think even now, like yeah, the social media is now the biggest yeah. thing, like Tinder and that, like like. Sh- it's mad. It's mad. Like I've never been on one of those dating apps. Disclaimer: I would never put myself on that because I just feel that is actually childish. Yeah, I'm old school. Man. <laughs> love is love. Things happen naturally. You know what I want? Yeah, well, yeah. No, but obviously we're not saying it's wrong because obviously the younger generation they go for all that Tinder kind of stuff. They go on. They, they find that's love. All that's, 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 that's all they know. Exactly. That's what I'm trying to say. That's why we move with the, We're moving with the times. Like, yeah, do you know yeah. what I mean? It, from era, it yeah. changes from era to era. Guys, I want to give a shout out to the yeah. five AM creatives. For yeah, everything they've done for us. Do you know what? This dream wouldn't have been oh, nothing uh, without a 5 a.m. Crazy. Thank you so much, guys. Guys, if you have Instagram, follow them. The, the fight is it 5 a.m. Creatives um, at Instagram. Dot, Instagram. Dot, Instagram. Dot, co. Dot, Instagram. UK. You want your team pack like this? You know how to follow them. Follow them. You know the, you, right, the details to follow, man. You know the vibe. Back into the episode. Uh-huh. Girl, you're, my, uh, you're the baddest. Even when uh-huh. I'm here, I don't like you because it's. Hey, listen, you like. Place, that tune there was a classic. Come on. Well, I'll go and go B Shop. B Shop Boys. B Shop Boys. Right, another round of applause, please. <laughs> listen, I love the support anyway. I absolutely so love the support. Amazing, man. As I said, thank you for everyone that's been Yeah, tuning thank in. you for everyone. 991 views on the page. It's, cr- it's crazy. 92 subscribers. We soon hit a, a thousand and mm. soon hit a hundred. Mm. Just to say big up everyone that's tuning in. Mm. All you haters, as I said, if you're watching, put your hand on your chest three times and say, I'm done, done, done out here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know the vibes already. You yeah. Yeah. But anyway, cool. back into the relationship thing. It was getting juicy before we left off. Very juicy. Very juicy. But my point of the day, man had a question. Everyone was getting on to me about it. But really and truly, I think a girl cheating on a man is deeper than a man cheating no. on a girl. All right, cool. Let's stop there. No, because, no, no, no wait, wait. Let me let me just break it. I think cheating is cheating. Because yeah. both a man and a woman would feel exactly the same if they got cheated on. The reason yeah, men feel... Oh, no, but, the, the but the reason men feel a bit more hurt by it, because self-consciously or consciously... Men realize that women are more loyal than men. Let me let me put this into let me give an example. Right, a, let me put, let me let me give an example. If a man goes to jail and they're with a girl, and I'm just using a jail because it's the, just the first thing that comes into my head because I know a lot of people that have been to jail. Um, if a man goes to jail, a girl is staying faithful. If a girl, no, nah, girls won't really go to jail. But if you're with a girl that actually goes to jail. Would you stay faithful to the girl? Men will not stay faithful. It is so. Do you think that it's a pride thing though? Because um, when a man cheats on a woman, nine times out of ten, the woman gets back with the man. But then when a woman cheats on a man, the man won't get back with the woman. Yeah, of course. It's That's a pride, a pride thing. thing. That's a pride thing. You, is that why you think that it's okay? I'm not for saying this. No, I'm not saying it's okay. I'm saying I'm saying you both feel exactly the same way. But yeah, not all, not all, not all, not all, not all yeah. girls will get back with a man though. There's some, there's some girls that are really, no, listen, really strong and won't do it. No, They'll say, no, that's it. No, but listen, if your dad cheating on you, you won't get 
track with her. And if you do, then she is under the thumb. You no. want to know, you want tracking devices on no, her. Man, that's what I'm just, that's man, 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 will be ringing her. No, that's bad. No, that's bad. No, that's bad. No, no, bad. No, bad. That's bad. No, bad. No, bad. No, bad. No, bad. You're living under cap rules, bro. But this is what you Get up, do ten press ups. No, 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 that and women out there that could probably get over it. Yeah, because you get over it. What's the point of getting back with her? Exactly. What is the point of getting back with her? But that's why I'm saying, if someone cheats on you, it's right to leave them. And then, as a going back to what I said, the reason why you would get back with her is complacency. No, so, it's wait, not, wait, let's get the word of the day, my niggas. Is, the word of the day is complacency. Let's go. Complete. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> I I said, come. I, why do I do these words of the day and I don't know the spelling? Bro. I know the spelling. Next week, next week I'm coming. I'm oh, give it to them, please. Come C- with me. C O M P L E A C E Y. No, it's E before the A. In sex, this word before A. What are you talking about? I'm joking. Do you put complacency, comfortable, and happiness in the same category? I kind of do. Because it's, it's, no, but even the yes, cool. You said you yeah. do, but if you've got happiness out of the other two, you're not gonna stray. I don't think you're not gonna a happy man. Of, uh, we know we happy. know a lot of people but in happy relationships. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So if, exactly, so you can't. A lot of we know a lot of happy men in happy relationships, it's true. and they're that. not straight. We know a lot of happy men that. There's friends that we hang around with, we look at them as, and but is that because they no, but is that because they're complacent and just can't be bold? No, be bold of course and not. They, and because their missus would just No, but we know them. them, we see them, yeah, we I know they're saying. happy. Yeah. Like, oh, fair enough, we don't see what, what happens happy? behind closed doors. But to come out of closed doors and still give um, people the perception that you're happy, that that just shows that you're that do you know what I mean? You're not uncomfortable or complex because someone that's not happy in a relationship can't come out and pretend to be happy. Yeah, but they no, no, but they can't. Oh, there's, 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 there's only so no, of they can. no, it's there's not. There's only so many you. times you can do that. There's only so many times you can actually come out and pretend to people that you're happy. You will tell your best friend you're not happy. Your best friend would know, right? This person's yeah, not happy yeah, nowadays. Yeah, you would tell people. Best ain't gonna say nothing, so gonna no, know but the best friend will still know. Happy. This is what I'm trying to say. The best friend will still know they're not happy. You can disguise things well. And I think, as I said, like everything, as everything can be a facade, especially mm-hmm. when you live behind the screen. Mm-hmm. Happy relationships are not happy no more. You can live a life, you can portray it so well that people think you're living an absolute dream. You know what I mean? But then behind closed doors, shit is a sham. And that all comes back to the social media thing because it does. everyone's on Instagram, everyone's it does. on Snapchat. You can post a picture if when you're you happy. Ha- I think and that's it. Yeah. Picture, a picture is a still frame of what's going on at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After the picture, you could go back to <clears throat> arguing. Ah, yeah, 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 I understand this bitch. Yeah, you can yeah, say yeah. picture. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. quickly. It can be what, easy. picture, yeah. camera. You know what? Quickly one pose. Yeah, you know, one time. Quick one, and then that's it. Back to fuck mm-hmm. you, little bitch. You know what I mean? I can't stand it. It's simple. As simple as that. That's what Instagram is for. Like what you like. Like that, a win- that, that's window. That's window shopping. It's about how you contain it. Like I don't think it's cool. Like my girl having twenty Instagram fucking. Like DMs all the time, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like that's peculiar, you know, it bugs me, you know what I mean? Like that will get under my skin like all the time, like you know what I mean? It it it, it, it makes you think. It when makes girls fire, though, shouldn't it empower you? It, that, that other people find her attractive. Mm-hmm. What is it empowering? It's not empowering, but it's not it's, it's, it's the fact that you're so secure in your relationship that you don't care. Yeah, yeah. I don't care if someone liked I don't DM care. You, you, nah, do I care. used to I used to be like that. Do you care? Do you care? Do yeah. I used to be, yeah, no, nah, DM, no, nah, but the thing is, no, nah, it's not though, because if your girl's not replying, then you don't care. But hold on, like, like, we're normal people, we're normal people, no, but we ain't people. got, no, hold on, we're not got thousands and thousands of followers. Mm. Yeah, your so girl's been found too. Your girl's in, inbox, I would, something and wrong. And she's not an influencer. Oh, no, if she's not an influencer, that is so wrong. If she's not an influencer, I'm taking the phone and reply to the DMs myself. But if she's not, if she is an influencer, I mean, you can't. We can't be angry. Only you, you man, know. sitting there are influencers now. I'm not influencer. Wait, hold on. What is it? I'm not influencer. I'm not influencer. Like 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 right, listen. In the comments, is it influencer or influencer? No, it's influencer. Is it me, me or me? I just want you to write it. Me, me, me. It's a me. But why say me, me? Because it's me, innit? I just like me because it's just how I see. I see how I see. You know what I mean? Yes. 
Hey, hold tight. As I said, every time I keep checking the, checking the YouTube views, they keep going up. We're like yeah, nine nine yeah. seven now. We're like three away from a thousand. Do you know what? I'm mad, mad, mad. I'm, I don't think you understand how happy I am. Like, Bro, I can believe it. Turning, we're turning our the dream that we've had into and into reality. If we tell people when we had this first idea, they'll be like, "No, you didn't." When we was thinking about it, it was it was just us two in a car, literally on just, the way to the gym, just talking about what we want to do, and we put it to action. Also, I want to give a massive, 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 massive shout out to my oh, AFC family. Chase. Massive AFC shout Chase. out, Come on, especially man, shout out Fluff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Shout out Jeff as well, who's been here from the beginning. From the beginning, first man. First episode. Everyone that's believed in, man, anyway, because they know the vibes. Um, but anyway, back to the Valentine's thing. Mm. Boom, now. Man's not even going to get anything too heavy because I think we've been heavy enough. Mm-hmm. So let's talk about music, bro. Alright, cool. So, anyway, so before we go there, second topic. do you still beat, do you st- still beat to music? Yeah. I would, though. Do you still beat to music? I would. Do you I still play Stoll Jams? You know me, I'll beat to Drake. <laughs> 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 I would, I would. There's Drake's got better <laughs> slow tunes that, like, I'd even beat to Drake trust issues. Like, what? Like, bro, Drake you're off here, bro. Bro, so bro, bro, listen, remember you yeah, said the Drake. I don't bro, care. there was gonna be a. You said, I do bro, not care. Bro, bro, listen, we said care. there was gonna be a Drake forfeit, bro. Yeah, no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, cool. Every time I mention Drake, I'll do a shot. Yeah, you're gonna, yeah, literally do a shot, bro. Trust me. Well, yeah, man. Line up the shot for me. Let's do it for the fans, them. So they know that. Go to the front. Go to the front line. Get the Hennessy. Yeah, bro, man. Episode two. Don't be making a mess on set. So down, man. Right, nephew. What did them jeans say as well? They say the rich. They say, what did they say? What did they say? Tight. What did they say? They say they're not tight. My thighs have just got thicker during lockdown. My thighs have just got thick during lockdown. Right. What, they, what did they say on the jeans, man? Look, I can't see. <laughs> it says don't overreact. The jeans ain't thicker. Hey, right, listen, my thighs have just got big now it because I've got insecurity issues. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going. Oh, this is a Short eyes. Do this to everyone that's watching. Sorry, yeah, I'm not going to say the D yeah, word no more. Oh yeah, anyway, then you have music that brings you to a scenario. In there life, like, is there certain tunes in like in your life, like maybe like a slow tune that you fi- listen to and think, you know what? <sighs> I think I think it's only slow tunes can, that can bring you back to a time where you think of someone. I don't think you can't think of a no, rap song where you think no, of but, a girl. No, but I think house music can. There's certain. I, no, but house music. I think house, I think house music. There's certain house tunes that can make you think about. Who a listens to house music and thinks of a girl? You don't think of a girl when you think it, of house music. Is that the first song? You, is that the first person? So if you, if nobody. You listen to if you listen to Boosie, Superman. No, it wouldn't be house. It would be. It would no, be no. No, it would be a slow jam. You remember? It wouldn't be a house song. A hundred percent. I'm saying a hundred percent. I'm a hundred percent sure. I'll put my hand on my heart and say the first song someone would think of would be a slow jam. It would never be a house song. Like the only time you think of a house. The Mine and my girl song ain't a house. What is it? It's not a slow jam. What is it though? But what is it? That's a slow jam. Oh my bet I'm even. That's that's basically a slow jam. That's not a slow jam. It is. Wonderful. Oasis is. Oh my! I'm not even talking. I'm done. I'm done. I'm cancelling myself. Not every song that will relate you to a person is going to be a song about sing. Is going to be a sing song. Not every song that relates to like are slow jam sing songs. Yeah, of course they are. Gone. What, what Donald John? Are one. you down to <laughs> swing? Listen, listen, I'm not doing it for the gallon today. <laughs> right, we're back now. I want to give another shout out though to bring the cakes out. Bring the cakes out. Right. Bring the cakes out. Yeah. Bring the cakes out. Right. Let me do one. Let me do one for the camera then. I'm gonna say Drake, Drake, Drake. <laughs> Here we go. Drake, Drake, Drake. Cam. Literally vodka jelly shots on top. We got the brand shots in there. We had some of the ones with the logo on it, but you know we had them already. But big up cheese by Cam. You know the brand. Hey, back into the episode, because we're back together. <coughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> back to Snowden. Listen, look, there's, a, there's, yeah, there's something I've been listening to this week, a guy that I've discovered yeah. this week off the Apple Music, um, one of our playlists called BLXST. Guys, I'm not joking, I've just discovered What's it. Your, was not, that the tune that you playing in the car on the way here? No, I haven't been playing it, but I play it when I'm by myself. <laughs> But to get into my feelings, I play when I'm on my ones. I well, what? When I drive, I'm driving to slow. I don't drive to fast. I drive Jeez, to slow jams. Oh, brother, you're already a Drake and driver, so yeah, I know you get Drake and drive. I know you're a Drake and driver, so I know you get in your feelings. No, no, come on. Yeah, when you, you drive, I think that's the best time to get into your feelings. It's true, to be fair. Because you take, you crest the road. 
<laughs> I caressed the robot. <laughs> I caressed the robot. No, but um, BLX ST. If you haven't heard of him, just search him up. He's. I listened to his album, which was released last year, late. But it's such a good album. Yeah, like, I trust. highly recommend it. Everyone, what, gonna, every, what we every, should do when we get further on, we should make a playlist. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, just yeah, bang yeah, on to Spotify for yeah, people yeah, yeah, to listen yeah, yeah. to. Don't worry, we soon get there. We soon get there. Mm-hmm. We soon get there. Mm-hmm. What slow jams do you listen to? I'm an old school. I'm eclectic when it comes to slow jams. I like old schools and that, like fucking Donald Jones, Latif, and I like sing it like I like proper mm-hmm. Whitney's. I like some of them ballads. I've been listening. To I like Drew Hill as well. You know what? Drew Hill had a oh. banging first album. Oh. See that? See that first album? Um, Enter the Dragon, bad boy album. Bad boy album. Bad boy album. Bad boy see album. them one there? Bad boy album. So I'm old school. Like as I said, I've been through the generations. But this is how you know I'm so late with music because I didn't realize until a few years ago, maybe two years ago, that Cisco was part of Drew Hill. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Until a few years ago, I honestly so just knew from no, the silver no, hair and phone. But, but this is that. the thing: I live in the era that I'm living in. So why am I listening to Drew Hill in 2018? No, I'm not. Yeah, right, but um, when you was listening or hearing it. I didn't he, think of no, it. No, I just said he's, he's not music. No, he's not. No, music. It's, not it's not that. He's not, it's yeah, it's not. He's not. He's not. I, he's not I, music. I don't listen to who's singing. I take in the music to my heart and soul. Make sure you got that in there. But no, I take in music to the heart and soul. I don't listen to who's singing it. Like apart from, but with Drake, it's so distinctive. Oh, like, wow. no, listen, how? Sure. Sure. Yeah, look, he's got back straight back into it. But like I was saying. With, with my man. This is gonna be, he's gonna be drunk by the end. Stop. Literally, literally deep, bro. <laughs> but with time, bro. No, <laughs> no, but you can't. You can take it. You can take it. Hold on. From all hold on. Uh, no, we're gonna touch it now because this is getting a bit out of out of order. <laughs> when, this week, when we've been chilling together, I use. I remember your exact words, bro. When you just played Drake's catalog. Shut up. Fuck sake, man. When we've been listening to My Man's catalog, yeah. you said, bro, My Man's catalog's actually yeah, but I'm, man. Bro, I'm not going to lie to you. He's hard, fam. But what you was discussing on no, the last no, episode no, no, was no, it's because horse. The, the last you episode... There's no comparison. No, the last episode, I was... Levels. We're not going let back me just, there. No, we're not going back there. But I'm saying, the last episode, man drunk a very too much. Too much Ray and nephew. Yeah, yeah you did. And like, I'm, I'm calling death certificates, birth certificates. Yeah, you now. would. What? Do, what? We do the I was doing the most. We as men, though, relationships, we've, we've grown from that. You get me? We know our one. Mm. We don't look to this young shit because we've, we've been through the generations. So do you we're, not, we're not new to this thing. So, so, all right, cool. We're 30 plus. Do we, the younger generation... They're from, fucked. That we say from 18 no, they're plus. Fu- no, but they're fucked. Now, relationship-wise, I think they're fucked. Yeah, no, they are. No, no, you say that. No, they're fucked, man. No, 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 but relationship, what, relationship, relationship-wise, they're we, fucked. We, we, we will, I think we'll... for us, because we won't understand it. No, but because we've seen... Look, you know what it is? We've, seen, we've gone past, like, we've, we've seen through the chapters, but for the new generation that have only seen this chapter, it is nuts. Yeah, it's so Bro, because they ain't seen nothing else to compare it to. This is all they know, so it is nuts. All right, let's go on. Let's get on to the um, questions. Mm. <laughs> Somebody's a... Let's get on to the questions. <laughs> all right, boom. Hey, is dick pics cheating? Yeah. Yeah. 100%. Man, them is dick pics cheating. What? Uh, yeah. What did it get Yeah. What? You want? If the girl said that you were part. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. She, exactly. Listen, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hundred yeah. percent. No. Yeah. That's no. That's that, that, what? No. What are you mean? What? I'm um, just <laughs> joking. He's dumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in the dick pic and then the pussy pic, and it's, just, it's yeah, exactly you know, the same. Hey, can't old do country, that. Old country. Oh yeah, you know, that's a. I'm not even taking your phone. Yeah, know what yeah. you're doing. Know what you're doing. You can't, hey, girls. You can't be boy and. Right, girl, boom. Girl. This one's a juicy one. Still, do you have to tell your partner how many people you slept with? No. I'm gonna say it from the jump. Uh, no. Well, listen, you don't. No, you, you don't. Have to. No, you don't have to. If you ask him, then are you going to tell You lie. Of course you lie. I'm you not, I've never lied. I've never lied on my, my account. Anyway, I've never lied on my... Oh, yeah. No, see. Is my seat. <laughs> He's <laughs> melting. <laughs> He's melting. I thought. Girls no, lie, man. Girls only girls lie if they're insecure. No, so girls, girls don't lie. They say, I'm not against girls, but girls don't. 40, man. What? No, girls... No, some, yeah, but that's an honest hole. No, but no, there's no. I respect Let's not use hoes. They're not hoes. Let's not use. Right, listen, cool. we need to stop getting comfortable with describing girls about hoes because no, if a girl I, likes sex, that don't make them a hoe. That just makes them someone that loves sex. 
There's no number that that the ho is just a word that people use. Nothing describes the ho. Yeah, nothing describes the ho. It's not a number. It's how it happened. No, it's how it's happened. Listen, no, you're not a ho. You're not a ho. Listen, it's not about your number. It's about how it happened. Hold on, wait. Ding, ding, ding. Can you hear something? It's me dropping gems again. It's me. You hear that? It's me dropping gems again. Anyway, listen. No, listen. It's not about your number. It's about how it happened. No, it's not how it happened. You've been in relationships. Yeah, you've been in relationships. But if you get bent over behind Sainsbury's and the brothers are with you and your boyfriend, then you were whole. I'm on that. Yeah, that's the difference. That's that, a, that, that makes the sexual if you experience. Had, if you had 40 boyfriends, yeah. then you're just naive. You haven't learned. You might just go in there and go absolute net, but the reality of it. No, but the reality of it. No, but it's not a hole. No, but it's not a hole. It's not a It's just a girl that loves sucking dick. What is it? So what is she then? So what is she? It's just a girl that loves penetration, loves oral more than penetration. No, she's not. She's Listen. Say she was in her teens, or at uni, for instance. Yeah. Having the time of her life. Yeah. And then she grew up, got a job, mm. met a man. But you Changed her life around. Guys. Yeah. One night stand. That's her boyfriend's problem, not mine. But no, yeah, she used to be a hoe. No, she's still a hoe. No, she's a hoe. No, you know what it is? And I think she's once upon a time, she can describe it to she can describe it to her partner. Once upon a time, had an active life before you. There's a way of describing things with not actually not actually saying it like yeah, I was active. You know what I mean? It's weird because as I said, it's true. Men do what? get the men do get the the hall pass to not be called holes or nothing, but it's true because sometimes we are, we are quakers. But no, I think but there's, there's a lot more thought process I think for a girl to free up the nani than it is for a man to give out the dick. What is the definition of a hole? Someone who sleeps about that don't own it. That's that is. Oh, 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 oh no! I spat you virtually. That is, see, see that, and that is what I. That's see I for me. Boy owns it. That's why they don't get that title. Exactly, because we all discuss it with the man them and tell, and, and we don't mind owning it. If he, if he wants to get exposed, and they'll be like, "Did you wait, fuck wait, me?" Hold on, I'll be like, wait, "Yeah." What, do, you, do, do you not? Do you not? Do you not tell your friends or your best friends? Some girls don't. Yeah, yeah exactly. Of course they do. And that's what. And that's when they're actual holes. Listen, we know what holes. We know something in our pocket. Anyway, let's move on to the next question. Anyway, because that. Who? Yeah, of course. If they're lying, you're a secret slag. Yeah. That implies yeah. the boys as well. I mean, next question, anyway. Let's move on to the next question. Go on then, Ranger. Is it possible to be friends with an ex or someone you slept no. with no. While, no. with whilst in a new relationship? No. 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 Okay, no. cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna touch on that no. subject no. quickly. No. So do you do you, do you do you think, yeah, because being a secure in a relationship, if your if a, your girl is chatting to someone that they've used to do you not think if you're not secure in your relationship, being secure, wait, 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 being being secure in a relationship, I promise you, if I'm secure in my relationship, I would not care at all. I swear down, I'll, I'll come and even spud the guy myself. I don't care. I've done it before. I've done it last summer. Yeah, I've done it last summer. I don't care. I don't care. Like, what are you talking about? If you're secure in your relationship, you don't care. It's more of a respect thing. It is. If I'm with my girl. It is a respect thing. Even it's if not. I don't know that she's beaten, you shouldn't be so disrespectful as to interact with him even in front yeah, of him. Actually, if that's I the thing, you should true. nod at him and keep it moving. No, yeah, but, it, but if the girl, or keep it if minimal. you're with a girl and she's beat a man and you are and she specifically yeah. stopped yeah. in the yeah, middle of, in the middle of a high street to so hold a convo yeah. while yeah. you're standing there, and she goes, "Oh, okay, this is yeah, my yeah, man, yeah, by yeah, the way." That's a violation. Yeah, yeah. S, I hear you on that. We feel that was all that, that I hear, but I hear There's all perspectives one. of that. Let's move to the last question. But listen, anyway, yeah, this question kind of wraps in what we were saying anyway, as the whole baseline of what we were discussing oh, anyway. Are relationships this generation just built, not built to last? Like, it depends. On is, it, your... is, you, is it? Is it? Is it? Is it not hopeful? Are we? Not, it is, it, is it not going in the right oh, direction? Oh, no way. Right, right, cool. We're gonna come to you. We're gonna come to you. Time. Go on, I'm, go gonna, on, I'm gonna say it depends on your emotional intelligence. It depends on your generation. It, emotion, no, it's not. It's not even that. 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 It depends on your emotional intelligence. There's a lot of people younger than us that understand how 
the male perspective thinks, how the female perspective thinks, and they understand what's happening in society. They understand that you, um, social media is not the way to follow. They understand that... Um, yeah, it doesn't that matter that it likes to like. It do you know, so there's some people that believe in what their mum and dad have been through as well. There's a My mum and dad have been we'll through so to, much, we'll yeah, we'll as, yeah, as yeah, in a relationship. We'll on, yeah, but I... No, my mum and dad have been through so much in a relationship and they're still together 40, 50 years on and it, do you know that gives yeah, me hope because no but even, 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 even my kids they would think bruh like okay cool like my grandma and grandpa have been through so much and they're still together I don't think it will determine you want to show them the fur in the society it don't because a lot, a lot of what we watch as well on Disney and stuff like that, it's all relationship. It's um, portrayed as a portray- relationship. Exactly. Yeah, it's portrayed. Yeah. So let's, let's... let's though, go on. Back in the day, it used to be different. The woman couldn't leave the man, innit? Once you're married, you No, because you can't. Whereas now... Women, should, is women should be in the kitchen. It's a generation thing. <laughs> I'm joking. Cut that out, Jay. Cut that out, please. Yeah, cut that out. Yeah, cut that out. Cut that out. Yeah, yeah, out. Yeah, cut out. Yeah, but they should, though. Do you want him in the doghouse as well? They should be in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. He's, he's, got, he's only he's only got, he's only gone and done it again. He's only he's only, he's only gone and done it again, isn't he? Wait, before before we move on, before we move on, wait, 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 before we move on to Scott's point, if this is kept in, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I was only joking. I promise you. I'm sorry. I'm looking at the camera. I said sorry. With the, when it comes to this topic, there's just so many different perspectives, and you can see. From everyone's, I can see from your point. I can see from my point. My if point Jeff had a point. I'll I'll see from his point. Anyone had a point. I'll see from it. I think it's just how you view things, isn't it? <laughs> so like in, the, in in I'm just gonna wrap up what we've been yeah, speaking. In summary, so I it, I'm even after what we spoke about. I still think that the reason that like, I just think a girl's love and the way they care about a man is just different to a man, which is why I don't think it's worse. When a, guy, a girl, uh, a, a, a girl cheats. I think it's all equal. Cheating is cheating. At the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. That's my thought on it. Exactly. That's a, that's a, mm-hmm. that, and that was exactly my point in the beginning. Like I, as I said, a lot of as the reason why a girl will more than likely get back with a man is because she's complacent mm-hmm. and she kind of loves the fella and thinks, you know what, this is it's long doing anything else because this is what I know and this is what I love. Whereas a man would easily maybe stump it and be like, I'm done. At the same time, I think. As I said, guys handle their emotions a bit different than the girls do, innit? So I think it's hard to describe the feelings that each of them go through. Mm. Women are very much like put their, their feelings on it. Like, what's it called? Where, your feel- where their heart on their sleeves and men are very reserved. So mm. I think it takes a lot more for a man to give up everything than it does for a woman to. Uh, uh, you know what you I mean? Know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to understand your perspective. I'm not even going to argue it because everyone sees relationships diff- Exactly. Differently. We're not, we're, as I said, we're not speaking for everybody. We're yeah. speaking in our, our personal... Like you're watching this, people are watching this at home and probably thinking, what are you not talking, talking about? about? But then we, I love my partner. Like, I've been might, with him eight years and I never thought about cheating. Like, but, but, I bet you like, wanted to skin out. You know what I mean? You went hard not in a I bet you didn't. I bet you didn't. I bet you didn't. Anyway, let's not go there. Please, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. As I said, Barbershop episode number two, Valentine's Day special. Love for coming in, love for fucking watching. Yeah, yeah, you know. No, I mean, we didn't do it on the last. And as last I said, time. I started off so well. I've ended up drunk, so you know it's a good episode. Enjoy when yeah. when rains get drunk. It's, it's a good. Enjoy thing. that. I was meant, I was meant, meant to be smoking. When I get drunk, it's look, just here loud and, yeah. <laughs> look here we are. Look here we are. But listen, <laughs> thank you for locking in and tuning in and I'm watching. Please subscribe. It takes two minutes. I'm gonna yeah, give a round of applause for everyone watching. Thank you so much. Wait, 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 Peace. Wait, wait, wait. Peace out.